Hi, good morning. I highly recommend not doing this. Motorhomes are meant to be down in South Florida in your bikini weather in January. This is what's going on. We're heading out. <sighs> Wish us luck, guys. We are driving in the snow, which my mom is not very happy about, but Travis. Yeah, yeah, cowboy. Travis insisted to drive in the snow, which we could have just stayed where we were. But now there's snow on the ground. Do you think no, this is safe? Yeah, it's fine. We're going slow. You know. What else did you want to do today? You need, you need a little excitement. Right? Not this kind of excitement. No. My mom would freak out right now if she knew we were driving in this. She has told us so many times <laughs> to not drive in the snow. And Travis said, no, we're doing it. So... I, you can tell everyone's driving really slow and there's not a ton of people on the freeway right now. One person. <laughs> yeah. Are we the second person on the freeway? Right? Oh no, I see another person. Yeah, because I guess... Oh no, wait, there's a bunch of people. Look at that. No, I don't feel so bad. It, it's a Monday, like people have to go to work, but I don't know if they like shut the schools down or what for snow days i guess it depends what where you live like if you're used to getting snow a lot then maybe it makes sense like that it doesn't it doesn't really disrupt anything but well, it depends yeah it depends what part of the country there's parts of the country that's snowing like several days every like week you know and right we're just used like to colorado it. alaska yeah, but yeah all that stuff like that's just I thought it snowed in Tennessee. Like, I thought that was normal, but maybe not this area. I thought it did, too. I thought it was just like, yeah, you guys get snow, and apparently they're like, it's going to be snowing. Okay. All right. Well, I can give you guys a call once I get a little bit closer. Okay. If you can't make it up, you kind of get turned around out of the bottom of the hill, but I don't know. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, I'll throw some more salt down and see what I can, if I can get it any better for you. Yeah, I mean, it, if other people need to try to get up, that's fine. I'm just still making my way over. I don't know. I mean, I'm driving slow to get over that way, so. Gotcha. Uh, I don't want, like I said, I'm not, like, pulling up right this second. So. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll come check in on you guys in a little bit. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. You weren't very friendly. Who, me? Yeah. You're like kind of a D-I-C-K. Okay, well, I'm trying to drive in the snow and like look at the map and everything else, so I don't know. Uh, sorry if I'm not that friendly there. What was he saying? Are you Saying that we probably can't get up there to the hill to get over to the foot to their, into their thing. So we, we probably, probably should have can't. listened to my mom we and stayed at the can. campground then. Well, we can park anywhere. It's... it's Park, what do you mean park anywhere? We can't really park anywhere. There's people literally like stuck in the, they closed the road. Oh my God. Did you not like know that this was gonna happen? Because my mom literally told us not to drive in the snow and to stay there. And I think it's because she said was watching the news. We don't have the news to be able to watch, but she was trying to warn us. And you were like, no, yeah, we it's fine. The, we saw the news. We saw the news. We can get over that way. I don't We know. saw the news? We don't have the news. Oh, I'm the saying is I don't know their resort and stuff like that. So. so they said that the road is iced over they the said hill. That if I get some speed, I can get up the hill. You feel safe getting speed up a iced over hill? Honey, I don't know. I'm not there, so I can't see it. Everybody's different with the stuff, so I can't tell you what the hill looks like, what it is. Anything but like the that. campground like went out of their way to call us and tell us yeah. that we probably won't be able to make it up there. She said that the the hill is getting. Uh, iced over, they're putting salt and stuff on it, and, but she's like, some people are having an issue, but they're also going up slow, and then they're trying to stop on the hill and stuff. It's a good thing you're really freaking good looking. Are you happy, Snowy? Yeah, I'm happy because I like the snow. You like the snow because your name's Snow. Yeah. 
Yeah! You have the coolest name. I'm happy you're happy. Yeah! It's snowing everywhere! It's snowing everywhere! It sure is. Oh my gosh, look at the country, like, THC place. Green Garden Barn, how cute is that? I think it's just because I'm very nervous to drive in the motorhome, period. But then, like, when it's bad weather, then I get even more nervous. What a cute fire station! Ugh, oh, I love the country! Mommy, look! That snowman! Wow, that was so cute! She's yeah. Storm, do you want to be a fireman when you're older? Yeah. Yeah? A I little... want to be an ambulance. You want to be a paramedic, Snowy? Yeah, paramedic. paramedic. You guys are have such kind hearts, the I want two to of be you a guys. Oh. What kind of doctor do you want to be, Snow? I want to be an ambulance doctor. An ambulance doctor? Yeah. That is really cool. You guys just have such good hearts. You like to help people, huh? You guys are good little humans. I'm very proud of you. You guys are my special little babies. And Mom, you want to be a fireman. You want to be ambulance. Yeah, you're going to be a fireman. You know, Mommy has a friend that's a firefighter, and so does Daddy, actually. We have two friends that are firefighters. And so when we go back to L.A., if you want, we can go Mommy. visit the fire department station. Mommy, I'll, I'll not be... Uh, ambulance. You want to be the ambulance driver, or mm -hmm. do you want to be the one that's in the back? I want to be the ambulance driver. You want to be the ambulance driver. You got it. Do and you... also, I can help people. Yeah. You are so sweet, I little be angel. A fireman drive. You want to drive the fire truck, and you want to drive the ambulance? Yeah. And, and, I can, and, also I, and also, I want to wear my ambulance ambulance hat do you maybe want to be yeah. a firefighter too and you can drive the ambulance for at the fire station mommy hmm. yeah i'm gonna do that yeah and, and then i can save everyone i can do that <laughs> you're such a sweetie pie if someone gets hurt i'll save them oh honey you're so sweet little angel mommy First, let's go to the ambulance station. We can go to the fire station and you can go check it out and see what it's like and they can tell you about their jobs and how they help people. Okay, mommy will set that up for you. Does that sound good? Mommy, I want to be an Okay. I want to put my fireman hat in, in two. You want to put And your... I want to do it. Now, I want to put my ambulance hat in Mm -hmm. I, I got my get my fire truck, and I'll get my ambulance. And I'm just trying to see where we're going from here. Two fifty-eight. Yeah. Well, we're not there quite yet, baby. We gotta make it safely, and then once we get there safe, then we can play in the snow. But right now, we're having a little bit of a dilemma with our plan. Gas here is two fifty eight in in L A. It's like almost five dollars. <laughs> so cool. We're like ah, the gas is so cheap here. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. All the snow is so pretty. I just don't like driving in it. I want to be inside by a cozy fire, drinking warm coffee and reading a good book. Cause cozied up with a cozy blanket, huh? Watching my kids outside make a snowman. Yeah. You're very handsome, honey. Thanks, honey. Thank you for... How sweet of you to say. Thank you for existing on this planet, being yeah. so hot. Yeah. I'm all over and let all these people go. Okay. All right, so we just got here, and this is the hill that's iced over. Everybody, be very quiet. Daddy has to do a very dangerous drive right now, and I need you guys just to all take a deep breath. Is this not... Sweetie, you can, but we have to park and get there safely first, okay? You gotta be patient. Take a couple deep breaths, breathe like a bear. Are you, are we going for it? I'm gonna try to disconnect the Jeep. And you think that's gonna help us get up? 
Well, I'm, I'm gonna, at least if I, I'm gonna go disconnect the Jeep because if, if for some reason I go sliding back. I don't really love the idea of sliding back. Like that doesn't sound like something I'm into doing today. Should I, like, take the kids out and go inside somewhere while you try to do this fun adventure? Right now I'm going to go just try to disconnect the Jeep. Okay. And get the Jeep. Mommy, I'm not playing the snow. Honey, Marked I know over, we're going to in just a little bit. You're being very good, honey. All right, be safe, please. I love you. You got this. Okay, so we are um, trying to see about getting the motor home up right now. We have someone trying to assist us. Um, there goes Trav. There goes Trav. Yep. We now have two people Mom. down here and I'm wondering if they're telling us that we shouldn't be trying to like go up or not. I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> we're in for an adventure. What is going on? Well, we're going to be probably camping in a parking lot somewhere. Are you being serious? Yeah, I'm being serious. We can't get up this hill. Get up and Come on, I can do this way. They okay. didn't tell me anything about, about this. But what, until know. halfway we were here? Until when we got the call. That's when I'm not going to make it. Okay, so we're going to be sleeping in a parking lot tonight. Can you move that thoughts thingy? Yeah. Snow, get in your car seat, please. Okay, someone I think just crashed into our car. Oh, Christ. No, I need you to, you need to stay buckled. It is very dangerous right now for uh, anyone to be driving right now in the snow. Okay, did he hit our car? I want to stay out. I like, I like staying out. Honey, you can't be out of your car seat right now. Do you understand me? Did that guy crash into our car? No. Well, what's going on? I'm so confused right now. I know that we can't make it up we the hill. We can't make the, the motor home up the hill. Okay. So there's no way for us to get into this park. Okay. So right now, because it's a flat toe, we ca I can't. I can't. Why? Why are those go, people so close to our car? I don't get it. Because they're not. Sometimes people aren't the most intelligent people. So, what's going on. so these people are helping us, basically. Yeah, they're just like helping and watching traffic and stuff but okay that old old guy he's like you know i've been here 27 years i've been here 27 years and you're not gonna get up this hill okay so we honey i know sweetheart we're gonna play in the snow okay you're being very patient okay you're being very patient love we're gonna go play in the snow but first we gotta hook up the car and we gotta go park when once we park then we can go outside and make a snowman okay no i want to play in the snow Lisa. yeah we can play in the snow as soon as we park we're gonna get your snow clothes on let me see let me find your gloves where are your gloves so that we can make sure your hands are really warm when you go play in the snow? Why don't you hang on to these, okay, for when we go outside? We're getting close, all right? You're being really good, buddy. Oh, man, this guy just said be careful. You gotta click the one. You gotta click the one. pick up snow. Are you excited to play in the snow? Okay, so we can't get to the RV campground, so now what is the plan? We're gonna take it one plan at a time. Plan number one is to make it up this hill. So future plans are one step at a time at this point. That sucks because I got us all the way over here, which I knew I could up and down the hills and all that, but like that last hill, I don't know, did you show it or film it or? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's too steep and not wide enough and it'll, it goes on both sides. So where are we going now? Right now I'm just gonna try to get us off this like windy hilly road and get us into like the flat area. Probably find like 
probably find a big flat open parking lot at like a grocery store or a Walmart or something and then figure out where we want to go from there. But right now, let's just get it like, get off of this like side road right here. So we don't know where we're sleeping tonight right? as of right now. As of right now, we don't, don't know where we're sleeping. Do you regret leaving the campground that we were hooked up at with power and all that stuff? Well, no, I, don't regret, I never regret anything. I just, I'm, I'm bummed I didn't know about this hill until it's, it's too late, you know? So, either way, we're fine. Like, we either, it's not like... It's not like we haven't slept in a Walmart parking lot before. Yeah. <laughs> How long is we, it supposed we, to be we, snowing? Th this is like, the difference is, is like, this is our house. Like, we have propane, we have, come on, let's pay attention, dude. Whoa. Well, it's not that he's not paying attention. He might be sliding in the no, road. The guy's going too fast. So I just feel. I think I would feel safer if we're just off the road right now. Well, I know, but I, I don't have anywhere. That's why I need to get us back to where we came from a little bit to get like in a flat town area, and nobody's going to like. What are they going to do? call the police and come out and say, hey, you can't park here overnight, you know what I mean? So... I mean, it's a possibility. I, I highly doubt it. But, anyways, so, we're fully self-contained. We just, the big thing would be, like, uh, the water line's freezing. Well, we can fit this bridge, but we can't fit that bridge. So, we're going to be going left here, which is the way that we came out. Definitely having a lot more anxiety now than I was this before. This guy's not being very helpful. Can put that on my way here. It's, I don't know, so well, definitely on an adventure today. That's for sure. I'm a, very much a planner, so I don't like not knowing what's going on or what we're doing, but I can tell you that little things like that make me happy. Look at that little snowman that they put the little fire hat on at the fire station. Snow cute. It's just snowed in. It's too steep, but I can't make it up there. So um, mm. now I'm, I'm just kind of parked, trying to find a, a spot. Pulling out Are you get, freaking get out of here. This guy is doing donuts, like way too close to our. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? What the hell, dude? Can I start to drive yes, please get get, get us out of here. This is like so not cool. Oh my god! Yes. Honey, not right now, okay? There's people driving really wild right now on the roads. Watch out for this guy, babe. That's like fine to do donuts and stuff way over there and everything. When there's not you know, a bunch of fine, cars, like, people not try right like walking. Like people are trying to walk and yeah. stuff. So. Not it's cool. Cool. Four. I love you. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. 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 Twenty. Twenty. 
Eleven, oh, got got. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one, zero. Okay, they're all done. I only have some hiccups. You got some hiccups, I know, baby. Good job on your counting, Snowy. You did a great job. High five. A big high five, like this. Wow. wow, and good job on your counting, little buddy. Wow, wow, wow. My big boy. I love you, buddy. No, no, no biting, no biting. No biting. Give me my ring. How do you, how do you ask when you want something? No, that's mommy's when she got married. That's right. Daddy got me this ring special for when wow, we were got married. Mm. You guys ready mm -hmm. for dinner? And we got some yummy dessert, mm. chocolate chip cookies, warm, <laughs> cold, and snowy outside. <laughs> it's so beautiful, honey. Oh, excuse you. Okay, they're still a little hot. Yeah. So nice warm chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. They got a little yeah, let me feel them. destroyed, but thank you. <laughs> but they're still gonna taste delicious. Kids had some yummy macaroni and cheese, the vegan kind that's like the Daya brand. Mommy. It's actually really good. Mommy, let me try some. Okay, here, just blow on this one. Blow. Okay, let me know what you think. How is it? Really good. You want to try a piece? I, I am messy. Your hands are messy. Here, there's a napkin right here, baby. Is that pretty good? It's hot. Oh, it's a little. Yeah, you gotta let it cool down first. But, but they're yummy, huh? To have nice warm chocolate chip cookies, all cozy in the snowmobile, nice and warm. I just realized I did this whole vlog and did not show my face once. So here I am. We because of the storm and the snow. I don't know if you guys probably can't tell, but like all the slides are in. So everything's like pushed, smashed together. Uh, snow fell asleep. I'm in here getting ready to watch a show. I started binging This Is Us on Netflix. Um, and even though it makes me cry like so much, it's like, it's cute. I like Mandy more. Um, so oh, Travis- I don't wanna cry. You're not gonna cry. Oh, you're sad talking about your show. I'm talking about the show I started binge watching because Travis has been looking up like real estate properties and investment properties, and I've them. been trying to rest my body because I haven't felt very good. And switching these medicines out has like really messed with me. So um, I'm like waiting for it to like from me you, to feel normal again. Are you gonna watch a movie with me, or are you gonna watch a show all night? No, I'll watch a movie with you whenever you're ready to come lay down with me. Okay. So yeah, let us know what if there's any good like movies on Netflix or documentaries, like let us know or shows. Let us know what to watch in the comments cuz we never really like ever have time to yeah, do we that. Haven't watched any show. Or I haven't watched any show. Yeah, in like a long time, so let us know. But right now I'm going to have some like warm soup and I love corn, so I told Trav to add like a can of corn in this like chicken noodle rice soup and then I add Tabasco in the soup and it's so freaking good. Does anyone else put Tabasco or like hot sauce in their soup? I put like cheese and hot sauce on everything. It just like makes everything taste better. Hmm. <laughs> it does. I'm just listening to you. <laughs> You're so sweet. I love you again. Oh, thanks. Did you tell him how worried and concerned and all scared and all I was, stuff yes, before? I started having really bad anxiety earlier because I was like freaking out over driving in the weather. Mainly because like we have this big old motorhome and we're, we're like attached with the Jeep. And my mom was like freaking me out about driving in the snow. And then I was hearing a bunch of other people like that live in these parts of Tennessee say like they're not used to having snow like this. And so, you know, when you're not used to having this type of weather in these areas 
that's when I get concerned because so the roads is, are yeah. not like <clears throat> everything's not like cut out for that weather. Yeah. So I would get worried about freezing pipes. I get worried about the roads being iced over and like just lots of stuff. So yes, I was concerned and having anxiety, but we finally made it. We're fine. We're at a different campground and Trav got us here safe and sound. So I'm happy about that. But now we're just going to like relax because of all the snow. We're not able to go look at houses again tomorrow. So today was like a snow day. Tomorrow is another snow day. Like we're not able to look at houses. So we're going to have to get creative and figure out like something fun to do like with the kids and stuff to get them out of like the snowmobile and get their energy out and go do yeah something. we're already detached and stuff and the jeep will go anywhere so like we can yeah we'll have to find something fun to do around here since we won't be looking at houses tomorrow so yeah we will have an adventure tomorrow we'll figure it out but for now we're yeah. just gonna like get cozy That's what it is. it's warm. an adventure today was fun see after the fact now you're like well, that was kind of like fun and exciting no i it was not no <clears throat> i was having very a lot of anxiety you were really concerned when we pulled up to that big snow hill well yeah and all these people started like driving down like telling us like yeah don't <laughs> come up here what are you doing you're crazy like you're not gonna make it and it's dangerous so, so yeah, no so yeah like no and idea. then like yeah, there yeah. were that car like in the walmart that was like doing donuts right next to us i'm like i was like, more concerned um, about that guy trying to climb the hill in his front little two little front wheel drive little car oh the one that i thought crashed into our car yeah i thought he was gonna <laughs> slide into the motorhome and then i thought he was gonna slide into the jeep and i'm like i told him I'm like dude just give me like five minutes just give me five minutes i'm moving the motorhome i'm reattaching and they weren't gonna make it up the hill anyways I know. They really didn't it's like, like really uh, know what they were doing. And those are the people that concern me. Yes, like, the other people on the road that like yeah. are very like <clears throat> careless and not and also like, well, you know how to drive in the snow. I've been with you in the snow before where we have like hydroplaned and been on black ice and that was like really scary. And Travis completely lost control but somehow managed to like keep us safe while that was happening. So know, how did anybody driving in you say I lost complete control. Yeah, like, you lost complete control. When you hydroplane, you don't have control of your steering. So yeah, that, there's no control, whether anyway, you want to believe it or not. I had... <laughs> I'm being called. You're being summoned. Hey, you you haven't even been off-roading with me yet. I, I would not like... go off-roading with you. Honey, go help. He's calling for you, It's a mean guy. Okay. Like, Dada, so sweet. Um, Travis cannot be wrong. Like, you he could like be wrong but he'll tell you he's not so like i just that's a battle i'm not gonna pick i'm just like let him pretend that he's right <laughs> okay trap um anyway we're gonna chill stay warm and safe i'm so glad we're safe that's like all i care about at the end of the day in my journal today it's like what's your goal for the day i'm like to arrive safely at our destination <laughs> that's like that was my goal for today we reached it some days you know you just gotta have those little goals they might not be like those big things you have on your vision board but you know safety is key so um and then health so right now i'm like taking it slow i haven't worked out the past couple of days which i haven't been happy about but i've been like withdrawing and sick and just like you know not 100 percent. and then i got like one sickness and another sickness on top of like the withdrawal stuff with my medication so it's just been kind of a shit show, <laughs> but I'm hanging in there. Um, and I think they need to like up the new dose of my medication. So I put a, a email in with my doctor and I'm hoping they'll get back to me to try to figure that out. Cause I had just like such a lack of motivation and I just not feeling my, like myself, you know? So I am telling myself it's going to be okay. It's a hard like few days, not a hard life. We're going to get through this. We're powering through it. I can do hard things. I just keep telling myself that I can do hard things. I got this. It's going to be, we're going to get through it. You know, it's just a bump in the road. So, um, if you ever feel like that, you can use that little saying, I can do hard things. I can do hard things. And sometimes you just got to tell yourself that over and over again, you know, um, until you believe it and then it makes you feel better. So, all right, I am going to watch a little bit more of my show, have some warm soup with hot sauce <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just kind of chill for the night and 
do a little self-love, self-care. That's, that's what I consider like self-care is like letting myself just relax and watch a show and not feel bad for like not working or trying to read a self-help book at night or, you know, like trying to just like keep bettering myself like every second of every day. I have to let myself like have a little bit of a break and say like, it's okay to just like watch a show, you know, like recharge. And sometimes that means just like letting yourself rest. And I think that's what my body needs right now. So listen to your body friends and don't forget to stay hydrated. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for watching it. If you watched this far, I am sending you all my love and all my positive energy. And I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.